Let's just get creamy with it. I like dogs, I like cats, lick my eye. Greetings and welcome back to another creamtastic episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Creamy J. Oliveira. With us today is the Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. I am so super excited about this, but it got my brain to thinking today. Normally, Dr. Pe- Pepper, normally Dr. Pepper is made of 23 flavors, but whenever you add a flavor like uh, strawberries and cream, you're adding two flavors. If you're adding coconut, creamy coconut, you're adding well, one flavor because creamy is an adjective in this case and not a noun, such as strawberries and cream. You're adding two flavors. But I thought today we would go over the 23 flavors, and I would let you know what those 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper actually are. <clears throat> okay, starting with the fruits, we've got cherry, blackberry, apricot, lemon, orange, and plum. Spices, we've got anise, cardamom, cinnamon, clove, ginger, molasses, nutmeg, pepper, sarsaparilla, and wintergreen. And other is almond, allspice, birch, caramel, coriander, juniper, licorice, prickly... Ash and vanilla. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. That's 30 flavors, so that can't be right. But I imagine within those 30 flavors, 23 of them are what make Dr. Pepper what it is today. So if you add coconut to that, I, who knows what you're going to get. But all their other flavors, when they add something in the strawberries and cream, if you want to go back and check out that review, I think that was really good. Dr. Pepper is a nice soda. I really like Dr. Pepper. I grew up on Mr. Pibb when I lived in Apopka, Florida for, I don't know, two or three years. I was maybe two to three years old at that, uh, or two to about five years old at the time, four years old. I don't know how old I was. For a little period of time in my life, I lived in Apopka, Florida, and I drank Mr. Pibb long before it became Pibb Extra, and I always preferred Mr. Pibb. But as I moved north, I couldn't find Mr. Pibb anymore, so I switched over to Dr. Pepper. I was seven years old, too, so I didn't really have much of a choice. Anyway, let's, let's bust into this, see if we can get a smell off of it. Here we go. That was a little lame, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, so with soda, a lot of time that carbonation kind of bubbles up and gets in your nose and you don't get a lot of smell of the, like whether it's Coke or Dr. Pepper or whatever. But in this case, it smelled like Dr. Pepper mixed with coconut. That's insane. It's insane how accurate that was. Let's give it a taste and I'll let you know what I think about it. Mm. Oh, oh my. Oh yeah, yeah. That's smooth as a baby's bottom. That's really nice. Um, it takes the, the Dr. Pepper flavor and smooths it out a little bit, kind of mellows it out a little bit. It makes it a little softer in your mouth. I'm going to try another sip. That's really dang good. Man, this might be my beverage of the summer. Not that I'm going to drink it again because I don't drink soda because it's, it's laced with sugar and chemicals and high fructose corn syrup, and that shit's going to get to you, man. Stay away from it. Anyway, but uh, all things considered, I'm going to give this an 8.5. This is a fantastic flavor. I can't get over this. Um, sometimes with sodas, like they're, they're you know, the, the flavor they're trying to add doesn't really shine through or doesn't make a difference to what you're tasting. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example of that. There was a Pepsi not too long ago that I, I tried. Might have been the Peeps one if you want to check that out. I don't remember. But this clearly is its own product. This is its own thing. My only gripe would be the packaging. It's very similar to just about everything they do when they do like a strawberries and cream. If you look at the here, compare the two bottles. They pretty much look identical except for the color being changed. And when you add blue to something like this, plus you're, you're definitely doing, it looks like some kind of a scan code. It's like a, 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 what do you call that when you can win something? Contest. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it just looks like maybe they changed the marketing of it. Like you might, I could walk past this in the store and if I didn't know it was out there, I could definitely be like, oh, it's just a contest that Dr. Pepper is running and I wouldn't get it and I'd miss out on a great soda. But 8.5. So far, it is definitely my beverage of the summer. Very, very delicious. Something you could sip on, maybe mix a little rum with, sit on the beach and tip back a few of Grandpa's cough medicine. Unfortunately, friend of the vodcast, Jess Carlozzi, was unable to make it. She caught a mild case of gonorrhea, and no, she didn't catch gonorrhea. <laughs> she just couldn't find it. She went out looking for this in the Doritos. And I had a hard time. I'll be completely honest. The Doritos took me quite a while to find, and I've only found them at Kroger. Haven't seen them anywhere since, and they only had like six bags. Another thing, too, is the Sour Patch Kid Oreos. If you haven't checked out that review, you should definitely check that one out. Uh, I found them at Walmart, and they only had about 12 or 15 packages 
boxes. Like it was one row, no display like you normally see with a new flavor. I guess they're not, you know, taking their chances with a flavor like Sour Patch and Oreo, which is probably a good idea. Anywho, I hope you guys have loved this episode of the podcast. I have really enjoyed making it. If you guys are loving the content that I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, would you please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hitting that little bell icon or any of those things. You don't have to do all of them. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit creamy coconuttier together let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain is one my brothers and sisters live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you however never live in fear of that moment always live in love and never let your inner child die take care of yourselves take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most and if no one has told you today that they love you the vodcast loves you very much just the way you are all right guys do no harm i'm jason Oliveira. this is the vodcast and i'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road to 50 take care my friends and happy adventuring don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket <laughs>